here with the latest Tennessee edition, talking about Dante Thornton. Dante, you've kind of been feeling Tennessee for the last few weeks, finally get to town. Um, just kind of take me through the visit, what did you enjoy about it, uh, and then when did you kind of know Tennessee was going to be the right spot for you? Uh, I say I knew Tennessee was going to be the right spot for me when I first had my home visit with Coach uh, Pope, and it was like a few weeks ago, but I instantly felt the vibe that it was there, and then I had a great relationship with him like, throughout the whole process of him recruiting me since I entered the transfer portal, so I, after that, my main thing was I just want to get down and see how things are going to be when I get down there, and then after that, that's how I'm going to make my decision if that's the place for me. What do you what do you like about Tennessee, and and you know you know kind of what what made Tennessee the right pick for you? Well, first you can see it as it, for me playing receiver, you can see they had one of the the, the Blitnikoff winner as one of the receivers that played here, so that lets you know that they throw the ball enough for the receivers to have a lot of exposure, and that was, he wasn't their only good receiver this year, so it goes to show that they throw the ball a lot, which that was draw attention to any wide receiver. Were you watching the Orange Bowl, kind of like all right, now let me let me let me get a, said, let me get a feel a, for this? I was watching. It was when. Uh, Joe had through, he had through a 60 yard bomb down the field. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, I'm good. I don't have to worry about nothing else. I already know where I'm going at. <laughs> yeah, I instantly knew that. He said, You got Squirrel, he can run, you can run. Joe's all of a sudden got that powerful arm, but can he out throw you boys is the question. Nah, he ain't out throwing me, but he got a rocket for arm, I can tell you that much. When you watch him throw it, is it kind of like, that's kind of different? Because, I mean, like, it's, it, it, it looked, comes out with a velocity. Yeah, to me, it looks like it's very effortless when he throws the ball. It's yeah. Just, and it, th- it throws me off. I'm like, he just back there. Toss it up, 60 yard ball. I'm like, dang. What do you yeah. like about Coach Pope? I, I feel like, like with our backgrounds of how we, our life has been, like growing up and stuff like that, I feel like we relate a lot, and we had like some of the same situations that we encountered throughout our life. But just from a like since our culture was different, like him being from down south and me being from um, Baltimore, it's totally different. But you can still see the similarities and how we both grew up the same. What do you like about Coach Heupel? Coach Heupel, that's my that's my guy. Like we we just finished bowling, I beat him. I ain't going to want nobody to know that, but I beat him in bowling. But, yeah, Coach Hype is a great guy. I met his wife yesterday and today. She's a great woman. I, I really like it here. I'm starting to think Coach Hype will throw these, throws these games against the recruits and the transfers. Cause nah, he, he no recruit and transfers ever lost to Coach Hype. They've always, they're, every recruit I talk to, I just beat him in this. I just beat him in that. No, nah, one thing, nobody beat him in his bowling, but I beat him in bowling. <laughs> I hold that one. I beat him in bowling. You left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed? Mm-hmm. So kind of take me through, you know, your skill set. What do you feel like you bring to the table, and where do they kind of envision you in this offense? I feel like with one of my biggest skill sets that I bring to the table is my versatility, whereas though I'm a big and fast receiver, but you can also put me in a slot or keep me in the outside or move me around wherever you feel that you need to be for the best of my advantages. And so that's why I feel like I'm a mismatch problem, whereas though I'm a 6'5 receiver, but I run like a slot. So it's like it's hard to guard, I guess you could say. And they see me coming in and then like a guy like Jayna Hyatt and coming in and like being a deep field threat. The latest addition is a deep field threat. Joe Milton is a happy man on this Monday. Mm-hmm. Dante Thornton, the latest addition to Tennessee's football roster heading into the 2023 campaign. Go balls.